Good afternoon guys. I just want to make a quick video to show you another side dish. It's spinach with mushroom, zucchini, and yellow squash. The first you do is get your spinach and rinse it real well. Like that. Then go ahead and get yourself a baking dish. Okay, we're only making a small batch so you can use a half of a an eight ounce pack of fresh mushrooms and go ahead and get them rinsed up okay and then you're going to take your mushrooms and go ahead and give them a cut and cut them into quarters well if you like them smaller you can cut them smaller but i like them with a little meat to them okay next we're going to go ahead and wash our um, zucchini and yellow squash Okay, now that they're all cleaned, then we're going to go ahead and cut them. Let's go ahead and make um, quarters out of those two. Okay, that's about what I want them going for. Just toss them in there. And then we'll get moving on to the other one. I'll show you how I did it. Take off one end. And take off the other end. Okay, a little mushroom. And you cut it longwise. Then you flip them like that, and then you're going to cut them again longwise. Okay, then once you get them long, then you're going to cut them across this way. Just like that. And voila! It's ready to go them in there. Okay, and do the same with your yellow squash. Just go ahead and cut them up lengthwise, lengthwise again, and then into quarters. Okay, your next step is to get yourself some quinoa. You can use white or red, and we're going to use like two cups for this size just going to layer that in there. Okay, next you're going to get two small onions or one medium and mm. chop that up. Okay, so now you're going to take your onion and cut it lengthwise like that. And then you're going to cut it into sections of three. And then across. Just like that. Okay, and then you're going to just put that in on top, break it apart, okay? Okay, so once you get it all, put it in your pan, then we're just going to add a small amount of the onion powder and garlic powder because we want to keep the um, nutty flavor of the quinoa, so we don't want to cover that up. Just a little bit across the top. And then remember too, when your um, vegetables cook down, they'll make their own liquids. So you don't want to add as much. Normally for one cup of quinoa, it's two cups of water. So you, let's go about half that. So go ahead and add about two cups of water to your pan. And now we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Okay, so I just decided since I'm making this recipe up, let's add some tofu. Um, it's gonna, this is gonna be a super protein, high protein meal. But um, go ahead and get yourself some tofu if you have some extra firm, be great. Okay, so once you, you know, get it out of your container, go ahead and put it on some paper towel. And then just give it a little squish down. Try to get out some of that water because you don't need all that liquid in there. Plus we're gonna have liquid from the vegetables. So just take your paper towel and just blot it. Okay, that's all, not much. Just get out the extra. And then we're gonna go ahead and, and give this a nice cut. So I'll cut it this way. Half. Slice it that way. And then, see how they make that? We're gonna make little squares out of it. 
then I'm gonna toss this in with some turmeric. Okay, so there's some turmeric powder. Just gonna um, get yourself a bowl. Put a little turmeric, 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 however you wanna say it, in there. And then just take your tofu. Remember, tofu is really, really good for um, sucking up flavor. So whatever you mix with it, it'll suck at right up. So let's go ahead and do the rest of our tofu. Okay, and then you just want to um, use your hands and, you know, put your turmeric in the bottom and then just flip it, you know, so it's all coated nicely. Now we're going to go ahead and add that to our pan. Okay, now once you get the tofu put on top, now we're going to go ahead and cover it and um, put it in the oven. I have my oven preheated at 475, only because I'm also baking some potatoes, so... I'll show you that too. And if this is the first video you've seen me do, um, I always cover my pans with parchment paper first and then the aluminum foil, only because you don't want the aluminum to leach into your food because it's unhealthy for you. So go ahead and wrap your pan. Okay, and so here's just a bonus. So if you have baked potatoes that were left over from the night before, you could cut them in little chunks, or all this is kind of bigger than little, but bite-sized chunks, and then go ahead and put um, parchment paper on your pan, and then you can add any of your favorite seasonings. I use garlic and, pa garlic and um, onion powder and cumin. And then um, I put it in on 475, and they've only been in for maybe 20 minutes, and look how nice and golden brown. Now you can have that with your breakfast, or you can have that for a lunch snack, you know, like in between your meals. Or you can have it for a dinner, you know, it just, it's a good way to eat them. They're delicious. Mm, look how golden brown. Don't they look good? I'll turn the light on here so you can see better, maybe. Yum. If you guys want me to make a video on this, just let me know, and I can do that too. But it's pretty simple. So, Okay, so now you've got your um, veggies in the oven, and they should be cooking. We're going to go ahead and give them, about, um, give them about 15 minutes, and then we'll stir it and then see how far along we are. This is the first time I'm making this. And um, I know it's gonna be good and tasty, but we're gonna just see how the vegetables cook with the quinoa. So now I pulled it out of the oven and I added three more cups of water and I stirred it up and you're gonna try to get that quinoa down. I think next time I make this, I'm going to have you guys cook the quinoa first before adding it to the vegetables. But for now, we're gonna go ahead with this and see what it, how it turns out. Out of the oven again and um, stirred it up and added another cup of water. Now I'm gonna put it back in the oven for, for uh, 15 more minutes. Okay guys, it turned out perfect. Um, 45 minutes of baking and um, it's tender and soft. You'll, you'll want to add salt and pepper when you get it to the table. I'll be back after I plate this up. Okay, here we are. I'm going to call it the quinoa tofu spinach dish. Pretty original. <laughs> and there's the um, leftover baked potatoes refried in the, or rebaked in the oven makes a nice meal full of protein yum if you guys want a recipe on the potatoes just let me know as always don't forget to like share subscribe for more videos and leave me a comment thank you for watching just an ordinary girl have a good day